Hello and welcome to a new tutorial where I want to present the cool concept that I often had in mind how this can be applied to um, for example grains or to particles and the concept I want to show you is pretty much um, how this suction force here of our fluid flip fluids which are attracting our pig head can be compared or attached or implemented to grains for example to make a morph-like effect of sand grains that swirl to the object and make it um, and cover the object so when we look at our scene here first we pretty much see that we have our test geometry, which is the picket itself. And we have a suction target. And the suction target is then divided into our velocity output and our volume output. For everybody that don't knows how to create the suction force effect with flip fluids, it's pretty much in the shelf tools up here at the particle fluids in the suction fluid button so the concept behind this is that our flip fluids which are pretty much particles with volume positions get attracted to our object that is in a certain direction of our particles so Let's look inside our DOP network that is created here by the shelf tool. And you can see that we have here our flip tank. The flip tank is pretty much the flip object of our flip simulation. We have a particle separation that is defining how many particles for our fluid simulation we will get and this is then going into the flip solver itself um, the flip solver you can see here the water brain is where the fields and particles are calculated um, in connection to our settings here but at this tutorial i don't want to dive too much into the flip fluid solver itself but i want to show you this interesting concept and maybe it gives you some ideas for future projects so let me just set this domain here a bit larger and have a look again now we have a denser grid here and you can see that the particles get now attracted from the point position and volume position of our geometry in our case the pig head so the idea behind it is that we have here a suction force gas field wrangle and I recommend you uh, to copy and paste this VEX code here that pretty much um, defines the inner distance and outer distance and the scale, which then transforms it into a vector for the point transformation of the points of our pick head. And not to go too much too deep into this VEX code, um, I want to show you the pop grain the vellum grain um, scene file now and this is pretty much our pop grain here that has the domain below and the points start to get attracted by our geometry and settle down on the, the and on the normals of our um, goal geometry okay let's dive into the scene now and as you can see we have mr picket here also mr 
this geometry in Houdini and you pretty much start right away with the test geometry. You can do a polyfill as soon as our geometry has holes below, but I think this has already been fixed in newer versions of Houdini. I then added the transform to place it uh, above our um, grain source. And we have a collision source which is creating an SDF, a sign distance field of our geometry and this is giving us a velocity output and a volume output and when I hit null here you can see this is the representation of our sign distance field and also known uh, for the volume database representation of our geometry so um, it's pretty much a volume database of um, the geometry itself. I then pick in a normal here and an attribute wrangle to uh, make out of our point position also a normal and you can see the normals are pointing in certain directions and with this attribute wrangle we just transform here at normal right into our um, point space so that's pretty much it for the pick head and for our grain object we have here the tube and the tube is at a radius of five we have end caps so the, the holes are filled and I have 30 units of columns and 12 units of rows. So it's pretty smooth and, and um, even. And then after that, um, we have the grain constraint network. Um, this is pretty much nothing else than the vellum grain applied to our uh, tube here. And then you get the geo output and you get the, uh, the, the um, constraint output. And now let's look inside of our auto dot network here. So when you hit the button on vellum grains, it pretty much creates this vellum source, which is the representation. And then what I did was picking up the suction force from our file here and put it right into the grain source autodop network. So, um, Make sure you add your pick head in the volume sub. Then you have the controls of inner distance and outside distance and the strength of the suction force. And to make pretty much the points um, accessible for the vertex position of our pick head here. Um, there is a little VEX code um, that is um, adapted from Inside the Mind um, YouTube channel. So thanks for this um, representation and presentation. Uh, it's helped me a lot to achieve this effect. So the, the um, Happiness of this code goes to the YouTube channel inside the mind and you definitely should check it out. It has very nice concepts of Houdini um, ideas and how you can approach certain problems inside of VEX and uh, other, other things. So we have here our goal primitive, our goal distance we have the UVs of the gold primitive 
and you initialize the goal goal primitive with a floor x y z distance at the point of my goal prim and my goal primitive so it um, takes our pick head and makes sure that the points which are coming from the point grains know where they have to dock on once they got the um, got lifted up by the anti-gravity I will show later on. So then we have a pop collision detect and the behavior is pretty much um, that we go here from our um, collision target. Um, we can also set this to SOP and make sure our pig head is inside of our SOP network. Let's see what this is giving us. So in the pop collision uh, detect we compute the hit total and we have here the color hits and you can see that when our grains starting to move up our geometry, they get in the response stopped and um, get red. So in that case, we can judge whether well, position is pretty much happening. And we have then our pop attract. Um, also entered the pick head right into the sub path. And to connect our pop attract with our um, pop wrangle here, you can use this preset here path through, but you have to set the go prim and the call prim UV um, accordingly to to the um, to the to the code. So we have the floor function fit and the random point number with um, with two eighty eighty eight, and then I also added this pop grain here to scale the kinetic energy, and this gives us also um, more flexibility on how our grain below here is reacting when it's hitting the ground so it's not falling falling apart it's more sticking together because it has more static energy it's more rigid then and then we have a ground plane to make the collision of our grain source gravity here um, and to make our particles um, swirl up, um, up uh, I'm using a field force. And uh, instead of the force, I'm using a normal that I created at the pick head in the beginning. And this normal is then telling where the particles that swirl, um, swirl up in the air of the anti-gravity have to dock on the target position of our pick head. Um, that is made inside a SOP geo. So we have here SOP geometry and we have here position um, to make the point position available. And in the field force, I'm using a max distance of 0.11. You play with the values to get different results. And the um, the other thing I just need to show you is here the anti-gravity. This is the node that um, that comes with the suction force. You remember we talked about this in the beginning. So here's the suction force and 
the anti-gravity again and it's using our pig head which is here above uh, from the from the volume and from the velocity and we also can define the outer distance this is the great thing about this pop wrangle anti-gravity um, it pretty much creates the channels here right from the vex code and we can uh, play with the with the simulation to get different results and I think when you get the idea that this can be adapted into pop grains, then it opens up a door for pretty much new effects and new ways to quickly lay out your um, yeah your ideas you have in mind. And and uh, I think this is a very great, very interesting connection from fluids to pop grains. So uh, that's actually the the whole point on this tutorial to make sure that. Um, the same approaches can interact with each other so um, so you make sure that the anti-gravity is going into the particle force input of our vellum solver here and you can see how those points are getting attracted by our pick hat and um, to make it even more interesting you can play with the values for example of the field force you can scale the force and also of the anti-gravity node pop wrangle um the drag force strength let's set this to three So when you play with the pop attract force scale, you can get results like, uh, for example, a swarm of bees or hornets that gets um, attracted to our pick here. And it could also be, um, could also be rigged with some slime. So you get a cocoon or something like that. So the possibilities to to um, put those effects together are very interesting and you can see that um, that's for me actually a cool concept how to make one effect adapted to um, another effect in that case flip fluids to the grain fluids And even with smaller grain scales, um, we get pretty interesting results. You can see how the spheres and the grains are forming our picket shape here. And you could use this for um, living sand or um, crowds also for ants that are walking above uh, some object and forming the shape of the object. and also could make a tornado here of the grains and then it's forming a sand ghost or an evil sand spirit or whatever or a gin in the desert so the possibility is up to you and i guess that's something that was on my mind for a long time and now i got the time to share this little tutorial with you and give you an idea how this can be approached pretty pretty nice effect and you see everywhere where the fears get docked on you get those red colors so you can see the result of our tutorial concept and I hope that this is informative for you and I want to finish this tutorial here at this point if you have questions just write in the comments or write an email. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Stay healthy. Bye bye.